we're treated to the musical talents of Sergio Lara and Joe Reyes. <laughs> mutual friend of ours that uh, worked at one of the local college stations and uh, we were both sidemen in other groups and uh, you know working a lot separately but when we met we realized you know we really could uh, we had a foundation on which to build and it was really the acoustic guitar we're not flamenco guitarists and I want to clarify that because a lot of people tell us that think that we're flamenco guitarists but we're not we love flamenco and it, although our sound is a little like flamenco the real flamenco is a tradition that, that is very, very different than what we do. doing. It's a lot of traditional rhythms and traditional forms that we don't play. We incorporate kind of like the feeling and some of those things, but it's mainly a new thing that sounds like flamenco, but it's more Latin, it's more American. The flamenco is just so difficult. You have to leave flamenco, and we try to, but we're not in Spain. The sound of these guitars is very enchanting, I think. These guitars are basically uh, flamenco guitars, which are, you know, from the traditional woods, which are cypress, cypress back and sides, and spruce tops, and they have a cutaway because we need the cutaway to, you know, to play up here. Which and is very untraditional, actually. Right. But so, but the sound, but the sound is very traditional. You know, just the, the that flamenco sound, which di is different than a regular classical guitar. A classical guitar, is, it's got different wood. Right. It's got it's heavy. Rose, usually rosewood. Yeah, it's got a little more body to the sound. So these are real bright. This is, you know, the flamenco is just like. Originally, these instruments were were built to accompany dancers and singers.
taken uh, traditional mariachi tunes and rearranged them for our band. It's one way that we can kind of reach listeners with a familiar song. Once you draw those listeners in, once they hear La Bikina or Sabor Ami, they're like, oh, we know that song. You know, and then they'll at least perk up their ears and kind of listen to the rest of what we do. instruments we had a piano at the house when I was real small and I got a guitar when I was real young but it wasn't until I was a teenager that I really decided to try to do something with it so but yeah it was always around and we always had records to listen to my granddaddy used to play the harmonica and that's it in my family <laughs> that's all I can remember I think he played so accordion too so you're a pioneer I'm a pioneer of the latter clan <laughs> I remember, you know, always wanting a guitar or a drum set or something when I was yeah. a kid. Everything was so so pale in comparison to music that I really never done right. anything. So I think play. you're kind of born with a desire, and then it's whether or not you take off with it or not. Seventy-five percent of it is improvised. Sometimes we want to cut him short. Sometimes we just go. Sometimes I see Joe just going, so I try to give him a ladder so he can, you know, just really, you know, do his thing. Yeah. And then, you know, then we all go down. You know, we do a lot of uh, right. dynamics. Also, also, uh, we don't work as a duo uh, uh, only. We also have the quartet, and uh, you know, we have a lot of percussion mm -hmm. and bass. So those guys bring in their their improvisation too.
has performed Waltz for John and Paco. We leave you with more of the flamenco-inspired jazz of Sergio Lara and Joe Reyes. Sergio Lara and Joe Reyes perform at various clubs throughout the area. Artbeat will resume its exploration of all the art San Antonio has to offer after a brief hiatus. Look for more theater, music, dance, and painting in January as we go into the field and back on the Artbeat.
<laughs> All right. Next. Next, try the next cut. Okay. All right. Okay, tape still rolling anytime you're ready. Okay. Ah, as soon as my foot comes back to life. <laughs> Oops. Uh, what do you want to do? Well, there's a little piquina. Okay. Let me just start with a bit. No problem. From the top. Three, four. What's better for you? We can do it like that. That's fine. The Maybe we just did it. Yeah. Okay, we'll see what happens. Yeah, let's do that again because it was a, a mix up. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Who was waiting on the first lead? Uh, Sergio. Okay. Instead of splitting me, him, me, him, I'm just gonna take the first one short, and then him, and then back to the melody. Okay. Circuit oh, is really? real bad, like in uh, you know, this part of it. So it's like, real. you ready?
That was good. Better than before. Better than before. Before it's still coming out. That was good. I can hear it. We're ready to keep going. keep going. Are you kidding? We play four. We play four sets a night. All right. You want to hear this what? Is nothing. You want to hear something like uh, real up or what do you want to hear, John? Something up. Something up. Something quick. Something quick. Something dueling. All right. Yeah. yeah. What do you want to do? Well, let's do. Well, this is something that uh, let's do. We can do cotton candy or we can do. Mm, uh, we can do. Okay, let's okay. do that one and then cotton like, candy. Uh, cotton candy first. No, no, let's do, let's do that was the key first. Okay, here we go. Let's see with the how we're we gonna split it. Oh yeah. So it's not too long. Firstly, <coughs> mm, firstly it'll be me. Okay. Okay. But, we're uh, just uh, trying to figure out how the arrangement. To, yeah. yeah, not too, not too uh, long. Well, after well, the melody, we'll just spl uh, split the solo tray, section. Yeah, tray. Try the solo section. After the melody. All right, it could be real spontaneous, so this might work. We, we haven't actually played it like this ever, so let's try it. All right, so I'll just take the first one, and then we'll just trade force. All right. We're musicians. We should be able to do this. All right. All right. All right. All right. You're all set? Ready. Okay. Here we go.
How was that? Did you see my my uh, yes. my? <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. What? Oh, you you read? Eh, yeah. Whatever. What do you think? One more time. You got ten minutes to take. It. Ten minutes of yeah. ten left. We can do one or two more cuts. But is this a keeper or not? I'm keeping everything. <laughs> oh no. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's keep going, I guess. <laughs> I just didn't know what to do. I said, he's taking a solo. Okay, I'll drop it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Might not even. Might be in show. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? What they can do. That's a good one. I'm looking at that one. Or uh, it's on the right one. Search, I guess. Okay. All right. And uh, I'm going to start this one. Just like. Right on it. Okay, here we go.
Eh. That was a big clam on my part in the middle.